Welcome to John's Homespun Thoughts. Hi. No, no, I want to tell you something. Now, when I was a little lad, um, we used to have a policy at the table. You don't talk at meal times. I don't know what that was all about, really. Uh, well, I mean, meal times is when you do talk, isn't it? When the family gets together and talks. Um, didn't do me much good because I wasn't that good at communication, and I actually. Um, to be honest, when I went to school, I don't think I could talk, or I could only I only just learnt to talk when I was about five, and um, so I was struggling a bit at school. Um, well, that's what they tell me anyway. I, I can't really remember much about it, but uh, I mean, communication is one of the most important social skills. Well, the most important, isn't it? Um, and good communication and a good vocab, a, a large vocabulary is important. And you know, it's the immediate in later life. It's the immediate thing that somebody can see where you're coming from. Is your communication skills? They can, they can read you. A person can read you like a book, can't they? You know, you meet them and they they know what words you're using and what uh, knowledge you have. And, and they can read you like a book. And let's say you're on a job interview or something. You know, they can, they can more or less tell straight away whether you're suitable. Um, as I say, they can read you like a book. But... Who knows these things is, is what I keep asking the question. Who, who is it who, who organises society? Who has their finger on the pulse? Who, who, who is it who, who decides that um, there should be public schools or, you know, like we, private schools is what people would call them, where class sizes are quite small, where you have a class size of 10 or something like that, and then the... The, the students, the pupils, they really do learn to communicate. And they, you know, they, they're in the adult world straight away if you're at a public school because the teachers are treating them like adults. And it, in a normal state school, it's, you know, you've got a class of 30 and it's more or less the same as what it was around our, our meal table. We don't talk at meal times. You don't talk in class. So what it basically was, was the teacher talk and chalk at the front and the pupils had to write down what he talked and chalked. <laughs> um, and there was no, no discussion. Well, you can't really have a discussion in a class of 30. And even if you could, you'd only get one word in, wouldn't you? Because everybody would have to have a word. So... So, this whole thing of um, the plebs comes up. Who are the plebs, the plebeians? Who are the, who are the underclass? And how does that work? And it's a very interesting topic. And one I want to cover soon on my little channel here. Um, but... This, this, this video is about communication and I'd love to hear what anybody else thinks about communication and vocabulary, accent, um, put downs, whatever, you know, all around that, that subject. Um, and, and, and if, if you stray, if you stray out of your, your status, um, start, maybe you start uh, thinking a bit more about the way you speak or whatever oh people don't like it you know they think you're being insincere um, when of course it's not the case what I really want to do is is to learn that sort of actor's voice the, the, the big chested the actor's voice and um, do some 
videos, you know, uh, Shakespeare type stuff. I don't know whether I ever will, but uh, it's good to have ideas. Right, bye for now.